So far, we have worked quite a bit with CSS uh, since we introduced it in uh, at the beginning of the semester. We've been adding to our knowledge, and what we're going to be covering today is CSS3. Uh, I think you guys are really going to like this because this is where we get into the animation and some of the really, really cool stuff that is uh, newer in CSS. So for the web-based readings, um, I do uh, kind of break down the readings into different categories, text and object formatting, uh, 2D transformations and 3D transformations, animation, and then some of the things you can do with the user interface. Uh, these are all pretty short articles that you can read. Uh, then we get into the lecture demo and uh, we basically go through CSS3. And so some of this is a review. If this is something that we talked about earlier in the semester, you'll notice that I put review. Uh, we are just kind of expanding on what you know. And then as always, we have links to the interactive exercises so you guys can practice. So make sure you read through all of that. And then we get into the textbook assignment where you are going to practice what you learn. So I do give you uh, some pages here. And so you're going to download the web page and the different graphics, and in this case, a font. And then uh, for the first exercise, you're going to be adding uh, web fonts, gradients, and tooltips to an existing page. And it's gonna be the famous quote page. So as you go through here, what you need to add is highlighted to help you out. Uh, and then by the time you're done, uh, the page will look quite a bit different than it did when you first uh, looked at it. Uh, once you get done adding the content to the page, we are going to animate the page using keyframes. Uh, so uh, this is what you're going to be adding to the style sheet. And because we've added so much, I did include uh, a link here to the entire page and what it should look like. So you can make sure that you have everything that you need for the page to display properly. Uh, then you're going to create a little 3D cube. And this is actually what it's going to look like. And uh, what you need to enter, I've got displayed here, and it's also in this PDF. Then you're going to animate a ball. And so this is all of the code that you need to create this little animated ball. Uh, the song snippet file from previous weeks, you're going to copy that along with the CSS. And we are going to apply some animation to that file. And the highlighted areas are what you need to add to apply the animation. Okay, and then you will transfer everything to turn it in. For the uh, lab assignment, we're going to be applying some animation to existing pages. So you are going to apply animation to the Flexbox model page from lesson six, and you're also going to apply animation to your form. So you're going to have to copy your Flexbox model and the graphics. You're also going to have to copy your form into the lesson nine folder. Um, and this video, these videos show you how to add the animation. And uh, these are the written directions. Now, if you want to apply animation a little differently to your Flexbox page, I do not care. Okay? You can see what I did here with mine. I made it rock. But if you want to do something else, that is perfectly fine. Okay, So um, you can do the animation I did or you can do something different, but it does need to be animated. Um, and the same goes with your form. You can apply the animation that I'm doing, or you can apply something different. So here is the form. 
So that's the animation that I did. But if you want to do something a little different, that is perfectly okay. Okay, so here's another example. Okay, and like I said, uh, you can do exactly what I did or you can do something different. Uh, then you're going to create a page with resizable boxes. So I'm giving you the page. You just need to add the CSS and the class here to make it resizable. And then when you're done, this is what your code should look like. And then finally, you're gonna animate something on your assignment page and it can be whatever you want. Totally up to you what you animate. So I want you to have fun with this. So, um, you know, you be a little creative, do whatever you want for animation and then transfer everything to the web. Uh, as far as resources this week, um, I did include tutoring and then you'll notice I have a link to this color picker. And this is kind of cool because we, we do cover HSL this week. And so, you know, you can use the HSL settings, but it's also giving you the hex value and the RGBA value as well. Okay, so this is just kind of a cool little tool to help you pick color. If you run into problems this week or if you have questions, please let me know and have an awesome week.